Marco? <laughs> you didn't think I was going to start there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Two point difference over here. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. Right, go start. Guys, go welcome back to another episode of Italian Football TV. Marco's not happy. I'm happy. The Scudetto race is back on. It was always it's on. A, but it's more it interesting now. On. But it's more interesting. You see, this is a, this is the problem. Guys, I this have. podcast is gonna be fire tomorrow. I'm gonna be talking for an hour with Anto. Oh man, I can't Listen, wait. This is the problem that I have. The people <laughs> were saying that the Scudetto race is back on. It was never lost yeah. this weekend. Obviously, it opened a little over. bit. Yeah, but open, I said, open. I said that still. First of all, you was back in first. We'll get into the games real quick. Yeah. But what I was gonna say, it's still two point difference at the top of the yeah, table. Yeah, of course. It's, it's just closer. It's exciting. It's no matter closer. what. Yeah, it's closer. it's closer. Um. All right. I don't want to start out. I don't want to start out with this. <laughs> I, I can't race. stop I don't smiling. Start I don't know why. Let's start out with Inter. I want. I want to start oh, out slow. Okay. Five okay. zero. It wasn't slow, bro. He scored four goals. Five zero. Inter beat Sampdoria. I have so many questions. At the Marassi in Genova. I can't believe it. This is this is ridiculous. I, I, I could have bet it was going to be a draw. Mauro Icardi was in beast mode. Four goals in this match. Jumping up to 22 goals this season. He scored his 103rd in the Serie A. His 100th overall non-competitions for Inter. He's only 25. He is so young. He is so versatile. One of the best finishers we have in Italy. Yeah. Back on his scoring sheet. The only thing is... Where has this Inter been for the past three months? So inconsistent, man. If they if they were keep grinding those wins, these guys would have been competing with Napoli and Juve for the Scudetto. I saw a great tweet from Sia Vush, who quoted Mourinho and said, I'd rather have five 1-0 wins in a row than one 5-0 win. And I think that's a little bit of the storyline. Was it Sampdoria being so bad? Was it Inter getting back? Perisic finally got back on the score sheet. It looked like everything was going forward yeah, was for this for Inter, who seemed like they had quality. No, we heard the good. quality discussion before. Um, and if this Inter would have showed up for the past three months, I think we'd be talking about something else. Their past two games, they've conceded nine goals. Four to Crotone and yeah. five to Inter. What is going on with this Sampdoria side? It's extremely confusing. I don't know what to say. They got bullied, and deservingly so, because Inter were the better team. Milan, 3-2 against Chievo Verona. Another match where it was flip-flop. Andre Silva, for the second game in a row in Serie A, got the game winner. All I hear was Michael's voice screaming He's today. He's getting his He's confidence so back. I'm, he's doing good. He, he's doing good. He's going to be the super sub for now on. Gattuso's going to bring him on. Let's talk about Kalinic for a second. Apparently, Kalinic was dropped uh, for this match, and everyone was going crazy. But apparently, they're saying some rumors that he wasn't uh, trying hard in uh, training enough. And you know Gattuso. Gattuso's not going to put up with any of that BS. If you're not playing good, if you're not training like the rest of them, he's just not going to call you well, up. Well, Gattuso said after the match, he's like, listen, nobody is above anyone. He goes, if someone is not trying or is not training as hard, I'm just going to leave them home. That's how it should be. I think be. that's the right way to create a culture at a club who's been lacking a lot of the culture that Milan is supposed to have. And this was a huge win 100%. for Milan in a tough place where they were down. They were down 2-1. Let's say this again. Down 2-1. Chahanalu got two goals in two games. He scored versus Arsenal. He scored in this match. Kilvoron came back. And then Milan, um, I mean Kutrone. There's that video that we can't post here. It's on our Instagram, at IFTV Official, where you just see Kutrone when he gets the call because they checked VAR and he was, he was onside. Was good. I mean, he's enraged yeah. with with just excitement and enthusiasm saying, guys, let's go. It's 2-2. Two, two. We could win this match. Yeah. And sure enough, Andre Silva comes on and Andre Silva scores the game-winning goal. This is that piece of Gattuso that's put into the squad. 100%. That makes a difference. Let's talk about Kiev a little bit. Roberto Inglese with that goal. He volleyed a top 90. What a, that has to be... Top five goals in the Serie A this season. I don't know about top five. Maybe top ten. That was, that, you that sound that was like incredible. Antonio right Dude, now. That was an incredible. It wasn't incredible. It was a nice so? goal. It was he, a nice he did that goal. Perfectly. Not top five, guys. Is it top, top five? Ten, top Let ten, us top know. Ten. Two zero Roma over Crotone. Raja Nangolan was the captain on this one, and Roma putting away the points. Crotone. At Crotone, you know, these relegation teams, the relegation battle in Italy is ridiculous. The competition in Italy is insane. It's the only league where the Scudetto is still up for grabs, two points. The Champions, Champions league, league is still up to grabs. I think it's seven-point difference, nine-point difference. Seven points. We have a graphic yeah, that'll yeah. be on the screen right now. And the relegation battle is just a few-point difference between a few of the teams. It is insane how exciting this league is. And that's all we saw this week. Roma, 2-0. 
Um, a game where, you know, you see Juan Jesus after the match and saying, listen, we are so much more united than people give us credit for. This is a family. This is the best team I've ever been a part of. And these are huge wins. Roma, you know, they're going to stay in the Champions League yeah. spot. They're in this for third sure, place spot. Sure. They're not going to go above. They're not going to go below. But the Champions League is what they're going to really do damage in and hopefully do damage in, I mean, and, and spend a lot of their energy Barcelona, to try yeah, to get yeah. Barcelona out of here. Oh, yeah. And I think we saw that again. Fiorentina against Torino, 2-1. The, the, it goes back and forth. There was another game. Cagliari Benevento. Benevento were up 1 0 the entire match. Ooh. 92nd minute Cagliari score. 97th Two minute Cagliari extra score. Extra time goal. The Serie A is the league that you can't count on what's going to happen. We know the Bundesliga is going to be wrapped next week. Premier League is going to be wrapped. La Liga has been wrapped. All of these leagues are wrapped. The Serie A is the only one because you have these lower teams who we've also said haven't been doing good, that need to pick up points. This, and where, they're this dude, is where they're that's fighting. that's what we saw this weekend with freaking Spal and Juve. Mm -hmm. Spal ran out of there and were like, they had so much more energy than Juventus had. They did not sit back and say, all right, we're going to let Juve walk good. over us. Spal played Spal good. said, we are going to take this game to Juventus. We are going to make Juventus work. From the minute that the match started, Spal had the right attitude. Juventus had the wrong attitude. It's a balance between Juventus not playing good and Spal playing very good. 100%. I give Spal credit. And at the end, these are games that happen in a season. I, it's not crazy to me that, that Juve drew this with Spal. Because like I said, it's going to go back and forth between Napoli and Juventus. These kind of games are inevitable to happen. It was a bad one. And I know a lot of Juve fans are, are thinking, was this a game that lost Juventus or Scudetto? Either way, the Scudetto is in the hands of Juventus or Napoli, whoever wants it. The small teams, you really got to be careful. Because a zero, team like Spa zero. is going to go... Spa played it. They played their hearts out. They played so passionate. Their fans were amazing. They played their game. They didn't let Juve... They didn't let Juve get their groove. They are facing relegation, but I think they can get out of it if they keep playing like this. Yeah, I mean, for me, I, Juventus, this is a bad game um to to tie obviously against yeah, Spal and it goes it's funny because Sadi had been complaining that Juve always are playing second instead the first time Juve went to first to play first Napoli got the job done Mine which is from game, Sadi. <laughs> which is the game that just ended for us Napoli against Genoa a match that I was praying I was praying Dude, that was I thought scary. Giuseppe Rossi was gonna come in this match and score the 1-1, one, one, and then I could have finally told you the story with this water bottle. Now we're going to have to hold off. Guys, there was 30 scores, minutes left. I was it. like, yo, Napoli cannot mess this up. Napoli can't let this up. And then the corner comes, they Alfie must, buries it. They must have hit 15 posts. They uh, honestly, dude, and Mili could have buried it at the end too. He had that chip, but it was cleared off the line. No, no, no. He passed it to Insigne, who chipped oh, it. Oh, it was Insigne that yeah. chipped it. Yeah, yeah. They had a two v one, and and then he messed it up. But yeah, this is another game where you gotta grind it out because Genoa has picked up huge, huge results against some of the bigger teams in this season. And Genoa were not as good as Spal. They no. weren't attacking as much. They were definitely defending and didn't go for it as much. But again, another team that caused you problem, just like Lazio <laughs> and Bologna. I mean, Lazio, you know how many graphics we had ready for you to freaking post? All <laughs> we needed so was Shudo Immobile to score. We had such a beautiful graphic yeah, ready. Good. We'll have it for next week. Immobile has got to score. I can't believe they But, they but Lazio held 1-1 to Bologna. This is another huge one where Lazio, you got to pick up these kind of points. They're and in I know fifth place right now. If they want Champions League, they, they can't be dropping these points like this. It's going to be tough. Listen, the Serie A this week was definitely a strange week. I called my dad and Antonio, who we don't film the podcast today. We're going to film the podcast tomorrow. Don't miss that one. And Antonio, Antonio called me screaming because I, I sent a message in our WhatsApp group. And I was like, guys, you said the campionato was over. You spoke too soon. Antonio called me, what are you, stupid? He's like, I, this is exactly what was going to happen. The campionato is far from, he said it's over. Far from over. <laughs> he said he has a lot to say. He said um, he can't wait to talk. And uh, yeah, so guys. What did you think about this weekend? It was crazy. You have fans. Are you feeling pessimistic? Napoli fans, are you feeling optimistic? Everyone else, Inter, Milan, how is everybody how feeling? How Europe going? There's so much. Oh, and uh, the, the shirt too, right? For the shirt before we forget. Yeah. That. Okay, guys. So our merch is basically sold out. If you want the last version of this Calcio shirt, there's only a few left. Uh, medium and larges. There are barely any. Uh, smalls, extra large if you're small, extra large. If you want the first ever IFTV merch, this kind of style, this is going to be the only one um, and we're changing it up. We're going to, it's going to be maybe similar, but this kind of style, this material is only going to be now. So guys, so if you, you want to, and get IFTV it is basically sold out. There's whatever is there is whatever's left and those are not going to be made anytime soon. These will be, but those will not. Um, and yeah, 
Get ready for the podcast tomorrow. Get your questions in for Antonio and Gaetano and all of us. And uh, we're excited. What do you think about the Serie A? Let us know down below. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao, Ciao guys. Ragazzi.